Well, I picked some of the broad beans, especially the big monster ones. So we'll see what they're like. I think you're supposed to pod them, boil them, peel them, cook them. I'm not sure. But one thing I did find out is they hang down. They're usually upright. And when they get really big, they hang down. So I only picked the ones that were hanging down. Hopefully I did it right. If not, I still have a lot more out there. By the way, my chickens do not like broad bean plants at all. I threw them down and they ran over them and kind of looked down and go, I'm not eating that stuff, Mom. Nobody would even taste it. And they usually taste everything. They, they don't like broad beans. Warning, if you're growing broad beans for the first time, don't let them get too big. They actually started sprouting. And a couple of them had leaves, like this little one. That was in one of the bigger pods. I broke the leaves off trying to get them out of the pods. So I'm going to go out and pick all of them that are of a decent size and leave some of them on for seeds for next year. That's if I like them. If I don't like them, I'll eat those. Give them to, the chickens don't like them, so that won't work. So warning, warning, don't let them get too big. Let me tell you, if you never had broad beans, fava beans, well, I cooked them yesterday. What I did was I unfortunately broke that one off. That's another question. Should I just cut the plants back now? The ones that have no fruit on them? No beans on them? But I picked one batch and the beans were extremely large. In fact, a lot of them had already sprouted. So I don't know how in the world you're going to save seeds from these if they're going to sprout in the pod. So I came out and picked a whole lot of the smaller ones. I did take a couple this size. And I don't like eating them in the pod. That's definitely an out-of-pod experience for me. But I shelled them, took them out of the pod. Oh, I see I missed one. And one of the big ones, unless it grew that big overnight, which is possible. But I dropped them into lightly salted water, let them boil hard for just a couple of minutes, took them out, took them out with a slotted spoon, let them sit on the counter till they cooled down a bit, and then I just pinched one side of that outer casing and then squeezed it, and they pop right out. It's real quick. And as long as they're not too hot, it's real easy. And one of the recipes was just mash them with a fork with a little butter. I tried mashing them with a fork, and I'm not strong enough, so I put them in my little hand crank food processor. And by then they were cold, so the butter didn't melt. The margarine didn't melt. I didn't add any salt or pepper or anything else, and they are delicious. You're supposed to eat that on toast. Well, I never have bread in the house, so it was on a fork. I eat a lot of things on a fork. So let me tell you, if you're growing broad beans this year for the first time, oh, they are delicious. Absolutely delicious. They don't taste like anything I have ever eaten before. They have a fl unique flavor all their own, and it's mild. I can't describe it. If I haven't tasted it before, I can't describe it. So if you're growing them for the first time, enjoy. Oh, isn't that strange looking? Something was munching on the leaf. It's kind of pretty. It's an iridescent copper color. Okay, Simon, you were questioning the bottom of the better boy. That is what's referred to as cat-facing. 
blossom end rot would be all black, one solid circle. It's kind of like a kind of like a navel orange. Those are from somebody munching, but those can be cut out. But that's like a navel orange. I haven't had any blossom end rot in years. I'm going to be picking tomatoes for sure today. And the little cherries also. Oh, there's another one down there I missed. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. And then a bunch of cherries are coming in. Salsa, here I come. Well, my babies are always disappearing. Those nasty old wasps keep eating them. There's that one. And then this itty bitty one. Are you going to focus? This is the seeds that Joe gave me. So I moved them over here with the other three plants. There's one. There's one. There's one. This is corn that I found in the bird seed. Almost feel as if I should cage my butterfly weed so the wasps don't eat my babies. <laughs> 